Hey, good people, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So I was about to, uh, I was actually about to sign off, but I just got a, um, an invitation from these guys from Steel Forge again. So you've seen me play with these guys a lot. I really enjoy playing with these guys. Um, and I'm glad we got a full squad of them. You guys can kind of see how well they coordinate as a team. Um, and I, I don't think that they're on comms or anything like that. I think these guys are pretty active online, the messenger app there, but I'm not sure that they're on comms. I think they're all just that good at observing what's going on around him. So it looks like we've got another uh, death button rhino moving in here and he was able to start taking the beacon before me but I guess we'll see if my team can take him out and then I'll just pressure these guys as they uh, come in. Luckily these uh, um, ultimate coder and Duramax, the Chevy guy up here, uh, hopefully he um, yeah, or I, I, was, I was trying to say um, I'm glad that they're all running um, energy type weapons because then I can use my shield on and off to uh, to help block them. My, the downfall though is that I've got the thunders from that carnage now and from Duramax shooting at me, but we were able to uh, take center there. The My team was able to take out that death button rhino and we were able to bring it in. So this request right here, this actually comes from a lot of people. So um, there was, uh, who was it? Oh, I, I didn't even look at my, <laughs> this is classic. Ahmed, uh, uh, Ahmed something, sorry, I, I can't remember your last name. And then there was another guy who had a bunch of random characters in his name. And then uh, Jeff Kratocheville, um were, uh, were people who requested specifically the Fury Tempest. And then um, there was a lot of people after my last video running the Butch Tempest who requested various Tempest setups. So I think I'm going to cycle through a bunch of setups over the next couple of videos and and we'll just make it happen that way and i apologize for the spotty uploads uh, the last few days um for any of you who've been around for a while you know <laughs> uh you know why so anyway uh we'll, we'll see if we can get some good tempest footage off of this um and then i actually have to leave for work so um we'll play uh one round with these guys hopefully i can pick up with them again later um that'll be fun so I'm just trying to see what's going on here so biggest tips with um, with running the Fury Tempest, so it, it's really nice that you get like more than 10 seconds of um, of being able to fire because you can really find like a sweet spot in the terrain, especially on a map like Canyon or um, or the Moon or Springfield. Like you, you can find a lot of spots with the terrain where you can get your guns over the top of them while having most of your bots um, not exposed to fire from the enemy players. So right now I'm going to back off over here and I might drop down this cliff to my left so that just my guns are poking up over top of it to uh, um, attack this guy from Illuminati. It looks like we should be able to take him out though with uh, the heat that he just took from my teammates. Um, yeah, we were able to take him down pretty quickly. So, and then uh, target cycling. So as you're firing at another target, I would just make sure to... Um, it, it's really easy to get focused just on one target. So I guess another tip for this is to find your next target while you're firing on one already. So right now I'm gonna attack this Carnage, for example, and then I'll probably start going for that Griffin on the right. Um, yeah, I guess it just depends on where my clip is at and everything like that, but, um, and then I guess that brings me to another good point with the Tempest, is that with your clip, make sure you're paying attention to it and make sure you always have somewhere to retreat to. Uh, it can be advantageous, like for most long range setups, you don't wanna move in close, but it actually can be really advantageous for the Tempest to move in close because they can output so much damage. Um, it's they, it's able to deal so much damage so fast, it's sometimes like if it's like a griffin or something like that, it might be worth moving into that like 400 meter range a lot more frequently than otherwise because you can drain them like um, in like five seconds. It can, it, it does that well. That guy was like, nope, not sticking around. <laughs> I can't blame him. <laughs> These uh, Steel Forge guys are no joke. They're they're doing a really good job pressuring um, pressuring every beacon and I mean look at the way that they're moving so um, So like we've got uh, Colgrim over here on the right and he's pressuring them from that way He's pulling all of their attention to that side of the map And then we've got all the pressure and long-range and mid-range support on the left um, As well as the short-range guys moving in like it's it's like the perfect storm and these guys do that like all the time Every time I play with them. I just watch them play and it's like it's impressive so, uh, looks like this guy's gonna get taken out before I'm able to, <laughs> to do anything to him, but it looks like that's probably game. But anyway, yeah, so for the Fury Tempest, just make sure that you always have somewhere to ret retreat to, 
And with that in mind, make sure that you are watching your clip. Once you start getting to the bottom, you need to get behind cover because you got 10 seconds where you can't do anything. You're just a big, fat, sitting duck. <laughs> so I think that one's probably decent enough to post. I just got out of one. I only recorded one other one this morning, and it wasn't that great. Um, but that was a pretty good Tempest round, so I think that's probably one we'll upload for you guys. Everything else I had was a subscriber request, too. So anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys, and I hope you have an amazing day.